Hello friends, it's me Tariq Akhtar Ansari. In this video, I'm going to show you how to intercept request and response object and take the log of that request. So each request which is coming in our applications, I'm going to log and each response is going from our applications, I'm going to log that response also. So for this, I'm just going to make one middleware functions within three minutes. I'll show you how you can do that. If you haven't watched my previous video, how to take the log into the file, just watch that video by clicking on I button. Now, just subscribe Technical Babaji channel and press the bell icon to get the latest video updates. Let me start what I'm taking. App.use. So just make one middleware functions before calling any route. So if you're calling any route, just make middleware before that okay and take three argument request response and next so we know that how to intercept the request console console.log request.body okay now call the next method fine now it start this npm start okay now if i'll hit any url let me go to the login so here i'm passing email password if I send here you can see login now in console you can also see that I'm able to log that request object body okay you can log anything from the request object now in the similar way let me define old send equal to response dot send so what I'm going to do here I'll redefine this function data now console.log data and old send dot apply response comma arguments okay you have to write this now just see then i'll explain now if i click here here you can see output is coming but in console you can see i'm also able to log the response data so whatever the json data we are sending to the users before that i'm able to log so how simple it is so what i did i redefined the response dot send with our own functions i just append only one thing in between this now if you want to take this into the file just change that to logger dot info and the similar way do for this control v control s now my server up and running just request and response is coming here now just go to the log.info and here you can see it's coming now let me call the other route also like get all users okay so in body i'm passing nothing but i'll get the response if i'll hit so here you can see i'm getting three response now just go back here you can see success data is coming id name and all so this is coming in json format that's why by default slash is appending now if you want to remove this slash also just let me clear your doubt here so what happening every response dot json ultimately will call to the send method so send method at the end is going to execute so i have overwritten that method here so i'm able to take the log so means this data is in json format now if you want to convert that you know that how to convert json dot parse just pass the data here now just see if i'll hit i'm getting the data but if you go into the file now here you can see it's coming properly okay first name abc with the timestamp also i'm getting so thank you guys for watching this video hope you like this video please subscribe my channel for future videos